Um, so tonight I would do, thought I would do hips and shoulders combined. And uh, really good for just an all over general release. And also anybody who's into swimming or surfing um, or just life in general helps you release sort of tension in the shoulders, open the chest up and uh, enjoy full deep breaths as you move through your life. So we are going to start off on our backs. We're going to need a strap or a belt and um, we, we're going to need a block, a probably two, but one to start. So starting off on your back, take a block with you and lie down and we're just going to pop the block underneath the occiput, okay, so this can be a little bit tricky um, if you haven't done it before. So you're just going to literally place the block and hold it with either hand and I like to hold the block at a slight angle so that I can feel the edge of the block lightly pressing in to the base of the, 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 the skull there, okay? And it's just gonna, it's a little flat uh, bone with a doily, like a doily edge, and it's called the occiput. And along the edge of the occiput is a lot of little trigger points. So just lying here, with your head gently placed on the block, so your chin is slightly moving in towards your chest. I invite you just to hold the block so it doesn't slip. Just take the soles of the feet together and open the knees wide. Just a little hip opener to start. And just gently resting down on the block there. You probably feel it, might be feel a little bit sensitive in some spots there. And if it's too sensitive, just roll the block onto the flat edge and just play around with it there, just gently rolling the head slowly from side to side. And if you're really enjoying that feeling of pressure and releasing little trigger points, little spikes around the base of the occiput there, just continue moving slowly and investigating any little pockets of tension which are a delight to release. Okay, so tension in this area here is really common and it can add to all sorts of issues like headaches and tension headaches, eye strain. So just enjoying that gentle release for a few more moments. Okay, and then not to dwell there too long, to pop the block over to the side, you're gonna need it in a second, and then come and lie down on your back with that, hopefully that nice warm feeling around the base of the, of the skull as that has released, hopefully. And just continuing to connect with the breath in and out through the nose. Perhaps adding that slight constriction to the back of the throat there, using the Ujjayi breath. So allowing the breastbone rise, the belly rise, and expand on the inhale. And then exhaling, corseting in around the middle. Inhaling and expanding. Exhaling and gently contracting inwards. Just becoming aware of any holding in the body as you move through the breath and see if you can release that on the out breath now. And on the inhale, just feeling that inner support and expansiveness. And exhaling and release. Just another few like this. 
And then last exhale, just gently gather the thighs in towards the midline, keeping the knees bent. Take a hold of your block again, and this time you can pop it underneath your uh, sacrum there. And I pop it onto the second level, okay? Depends on you, but that's where I kind of like it. We're going to do a little bit of a psoas opener, so extend the legs out, feel the frontal hip points there the bony prominences in the front of the pelvis and just notice that they are actually the highest point in your body right now and just feel a gentle engagement in your belly and that tug as they, as they really start to open up and stretch open in the front of the body. And then Inhale, if you feel, you should feel quite secure here, lift the right knee in towards your chest. Now you can always use your belt uh, if you feel it's a little bit far away to grab around the front of, of the shin. And internally rotate the knees and toes of the left leg so they're facing up towards the sky. Good. And a gentle drawing in there of that knee. And you can feel the front of the left hip beginning to really open up there, opening into the hip flexors. So we're just countering the natural holding patterns that most of us have, that curling in and rounding in from the world, just opening up the front of the body. Just another three rounds of breath here. Just let your bones be heavy. And then exhale it out, extend that right leg out. Okay, and switch it over. Hug the left knee in. And don't worry if one side feels a little bit differently to the other. Just rotate the right knee and toes up towards the ceiling. A slight tone in the belly. Good. Let that leg get real heavy. Hug in with the left. Okay, two more here. Just feeling the skin on your face softening. Tension draining away from around the eyes and jaw. Exhale and release that leg. Okay, bend both knees. Lift the pelvis, pop the block to the side again. And then just keeping the left leg bent, extend the right up towards the ceiling, taking a grip around the back of the right thigh. And then you can Option, option is to extend that left leg out on the floor, push out through both heels and taking care not to lock out either knee. Curl your toes in towards your nose. Soft knees, soft gaze. And you can climb that, those hands up the back of the leg wherever you like, just preferably not behind the knee joint. One more here. And then exhale, bend that right leg a lot and take a grip around the outer edge. So you're coming into half happy baby, Ardha and Apanasana. And feel free to move, so just gently rocking side to side as you feel that massage around the back of the sacrum. Rocking that right knee down towards the floor and then releasing.
Okay, and then exhale and release that. Hug the knee right in towards the midline. And then you're going to take it across the body into a single leg twist. So just shifting the hips as you do that. Make some room and bring that right leg across to the left. Take the left hand onto the upper outer right thigh. Encourage the shoulder blades down onto the floor. So shifting the hips over to the right can help that a little bit. And then maybe turn the gaze over towards the right. Taking another three rounds of breath here. And exhale it out. Inhale, lift the leg up and release. Okay, let's just do the same sequence on, on the second side. So extend the left leg up, clasp hands behind the back of the leg. Perhaps extending the right leg out. Just lovely release, feeling that heat welling up the back of the leg as the muscles begin to work and open and release. So staying with that ujjayi breath, minding your knees, so soft knees. Two more. Exhale and release. Just take that um, left hand around the outer edge of the left foot and half happy baby there, rocking it from side to side. Go ahead, bend that right leg just to facilitate the rocking motion a little bit more easily. Whatever feels good for your body. Just dropping that left knee down, down towards the floor. Two more breaths. Exhale it out. And then inhale, hug the left knee in towards the midline and then take it across the body, shifting the hips over to the left a little bit. Encourage both shoulders down onto the floor and maybe turning the head to look over the left shoulder. Gentle pressure down on the outer left thigh with the right hand. Two more here. And then exhale and release. Okay. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Round the back of the head up off, to, off the floor towards the knees and start to roll forwards and backwards. Nice tight squeeze between the thighs. Rounding the back as much as you can to get that roll. And then you can just roll yourself up to a hovering seat. Maybe extend the legs out a little bit. Maybe extend the arms out a little bit and hold. And then exhale, cross the ankles and come up to a Sukhasana cross-legged pose. Okay, so I'm just going to pop myself up onto a little cushion here because I quite like to have the hips a little bit higher than the knees. And then taking a clasp behind the back. See if you can get the heels of the hands in towards each other and lifting those clasped hands up off the back. Feel the front of the chest start to open as the arm bones move back. Put a little micro bend in your elbows. What does that look like from the side there? Lift the chest. Mm. Okay, keep opening that up. We're going to be working a little bit more with that. One more here. Exhale and release. Okay. 
and then reach your right arm up towards the sky, big inhale, exhale, extend it out and overhead, feeling that opening down the side of the body there, spin the chest up towards the sky, extending those um, little finger side edges of the hand away, and maybe lifting the gaze up, keep lifting out of both sides of the ribcage, One more, exhale and release. Just take it over to the second side. Extend the upper arm out and away, little finger side edge down. Spin the chest up, lift up out of both sides of the ribs. Big breath in, let your inner body lift and brighten. See if you can bring that arm back a little bit more so you start to really feel that opening. Working against those holding patterns just to awaken the body. Exhale and release. So clasp the hands behind the back again but with the other index finger on top. This time it feels a little bit different. And then lift those hands up off the back. See if you can get the heels of the hands in towards each other. Lift the chest. Good. Take the shoulders down from around the ears. And then exhale and release. Let's come on to all fours from here. Just take your hands shoulder distance apart and your knees hip distance apart. Okay and knees beneath the hips. So nice tone of the belly. Inhale and lift the right knee up off the floor and out to the side. And make sure you don't start to sway over to the left. Instead, knit the inner or the outer left thigh in towards the midline, okay? So inhale and lift. Okay, flex that right foot. Exhale, bring that leg back down towards the midline. Inhale and lift. Exhale and back in. Lift and in, lift and back down, lift, exhale down, inhale, lift, exhale and down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, and up, up, up. Up, two more, up, and up. Hold it here and it pulses out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back down to the middle. Inhale and lift. Down to the middle. Inhale and lift. Keep knitting that outer left thigh in towards the midline and lift, six more, two, three, four, five, and six, I know you're feeling it now, okay, so you just sit gently back towards the heels, open up the knees wide, press the head down towards the floor, stretching it out, big breath in through the nose, exhale, it's when the body starts talking back to you, you truly know you've arrived at your yoga practice. Exhale, you become very present to what's going on. So come on up, let's go to the second side. Okay, let's lift the left leg out, flex the foot. Exhale in. Inhale, in, lift. Exhale down. Lift, down. Lift, lift, lift. Keep going, lift. Lift, 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 and again, good, let's go with four more, and hold and pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, nearly there. Three, two, one, down, up, in, and out. Four more. And last one, bring it down, open up the knees, sit back towards the heels, well done. Whoo! Couple of breaths here. Feel the back of the body lifting and expanding on the inhale. And again, good elbows lifted. And let's make our way on the next inhale to all fours. But we're going to make our way through a cat pose. So round your back as you inhale, lift the sit bones off the heels and come on to all fours. When you arrive on all fours, you're going to change it up to a cow by lifting the sit bones, lifting the heart, tone the belly, lift the gaze into the mid, middle distance and then roll the toes under. You feel a slight tug down the midline of your body here as you tone the belly. On your next exhale, lift the knees slowly up off the floor and press back to downward facing dog. Okay, good. Drop the top of the head down towards the floor, ears roughly in line with the inner arms and gather the shoulder blades gently onto the back to support yourself, toning the belly and drawing the inner thighs back and apart. Good. Nice and strong engaged legs and arms. Drawing right up into the back of the heart, into the center of the pelvis. And exhale back down into the earth. Next inhale, you're going to round the back. Slowly bend the knees more and more as you bring them down towards the floor via a cat Okay, and then reaching your cat, change it up, find your cow, lift your chest, lift your sit bones, stretch out the belly, sit back down towards your heels, exhaling. Moving with the breath a little bit more quickly now, inhale round the back and sit up to all fours as you inhale. Exhaling, lift the heart, lift the sit bones, roll the toes, press back down and facing. Inhaling, moving more fluidly, round the back, shift forward to all fours. Exhale, sit gently back to child's pose, head to the floor. Inhale, round the back, lifting up all fours. Exhale, lift the heart, lift the sit bones, press on back, downward facing. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, child's. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing. Good. Let's take one more round and we will meet in downward facing dog. And exhale. Press it back and hold. Okay, so just walking the dog out. Shifting your weight from one foot to the other, pressing into one hand and then the other. <sighs> Good, just enjoying the strength in your body and that gorgeous opening of the backs of the legs and the sides of the body and the backs of, of, of up your, on your upper back. Okay. So now, from here we're going to shift the weight into the left foot, lift the right and take a three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hips, take the right heel behind the left buttock, open it up, square off the chest to the floor. Good, nice big stretch of those lovely hip flexors. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, step it through to meet your hands. So round your back, shift your weight forward, make the room to Step it through and drop your back knee to the floor. Let the hips sink as you lift the chest. Option to use your blocks at any time to reach the floor. We're just coming up onto our fingertips for this one. Good. Feeling that lovely opening in the left hip, 
the front of the left hip, make your spine nice and long by dropping the tailbone and lifting the crown of the head away. Mm. All right, take two more here. Exhale, shift your weight back. So now your front leg is beginning to straighten. Walk your hands back in line with your knees or thereabouts for Ardha Hanumanasana, half runner's lunge. Just going to fold forward over that front leg, drawing the outer right hip back and the outer left hip forward, keeping a nice micro bend in that front knee and really feeling that in the hip in the hamstrings and into the, um, the calf there on the right leg. So curl those toes and the right foot in towards your nose. Your bum stays high up. Good. Two more here. Exhale. Let's come forward again. Let the hips drop down towards the floor. Good. And then climb your hands up onto your uh, right thigh. Push that right thigh away and lift the heart away from it. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back. Okay. So from here, you're not going to see this very well from with the where I'm seated, seated. So I'm just going to show you. Take your left arm up towards the sky. Bend the elbow. Okay. Strongly engage those legs. And then take the right hand down onto the left elbow, gently pressing down into half archer pose. Okay, good. So strong legs, root down into that right heel. Good, and then keep drawing that um, left knee forward towards the front of the mat. Lift the chest even more. Good. Tone the belly. One more. Exhale. Release that one. Okay, so now you can take a block if you wish. Bring it to the inside of the right foot. Put the left hand on the block. And come into a twist there. You have the right hand working its way back towards the right uh, hip. Okay, let the hips get heavy. Maybe toe heel the right foot out to the edge of the mat a little bit more. You can feel the outer left hip dropping down towards the floor, getting deeper into that twist. So the option here is to keep uh, going into that twist, turning to look towards that back foot. You can even start to point towards it. And then you can beckon it to lift up into your right hand. This is optional. You can also lasso it if uh, reaching is a bit of a challenge. So let the hips shift forward and then draw that uh, left foot in towards your hips. And at the same time, push the foot back into the hand. Okay? Lift the chest, feel the chest open towards the sky. Wow, good. So you can feel that strong opening in the front of the left um, thigh. Now the option here is you can take the left elbow down onto the block or indeed onto the floor. That can feel really intense, so easy goes. Keep working with your ujjayi breath. release that and work our way through a vinyasa. So two hands onto the floor, toe heel the right foot in towards the midline, roll the toes the back foot under and press back into a plank. Lift the heart as you go, squeeze those inner thighs together. Feel the belly pulling in nice and strong. Hold it here for another round and then exhale to chaturanga or knees, hips and chest come all the way down onto the floor. Good, hold it here, okay? Before you move into your back bend, I'd like you to take a locust for this one. So just take your hands back behind you, clasp your fingers behind your back, 
So you can get the heels of the hands in towards each other. Okay, now once you've done that, press the toenails of all ten toes into the floor. Feel the inner thighs moving energetically towards each other, like there's a magnet in between your thighs. Moving your tailbone down towards your heels, you feel your belly pull off the floor. Good. Keep that. Lift the head and heart up off the floor. Lift the clasped hands away from the back. Good. Don't crunch into the neck, but instead look down and into the middle distance. Lifting up. Press those big toes into the floor. Press those little toes into the floor. One more big breath here. And then exhale and release. Just take your hands back underneath your shoulders, elbows bent and close into the body. Roll the toes, lift the knees, and press back down or facing. Take three breaths here. And again. Exhale it out. Second side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, just step it through to meet your hands, come into a low lunge. Onto your fingertips, set the hips sink, and the long spine, lift the heart. Square off the hips to the front. Okay, exhale, let's shift our weight back, coming into Ardha Hanuman. Let's uh, walk the hands back, option to use the blocks if the floor is a little far away. And then draw the outer left hip back and the outer right hip forward. Fold. A little bit of a lot, keeping a little micro bend there. Inhale, walk it back, softening that front knee and bringing the hips forward. Sink the hips and climb up onto your left thigh. Good. Push that thigh away from you and lift the heart. Good. Tailbone moves down, press into the toenails of the back foot. Now, lift your right arm, bend the elbow and bring your left hand to the top of the elbow. Half archer. Good, now lift the heart a little bit more. Strong front leg. Press down into that front heel and energetically draw back. Good, as you draw the uh, right knee forward, you draw the left heel back. Let's take one more of those. And then exhale, you can release. Option to take the block to the inside of the front foot. Slide the left hand back into the crease of the hips. And you can toe heel the left foot out to the left side of the mat. Sink the hips, turn to look over the left shoulder. Maybe point down at that back foot. Maybe lift the foot up to the hand, that's optional. Sink the hips again, draw the foot in, and push the foot back into the hand. Lift the heart, take the left arm bone back, spinning the left side of the chest upwards. Options to come down a little bit lower to the block or the floor with the elbow. Good. Pretty intense here. So use your ujjayi breath. Exhale and release. Let's take a vinyasa and come into a locust pose for our back bend. Lift the heart. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, hips, chest. Bring it back and clasp the hands with the other index finger on top. Take them up and away. Lift the heart, lift the head. Press all ten toenails down. Lifting up the front of the body. Okay, keep pressing strongly into the floor. Lift the heart a little bit more. And last 
one. Exhale, release the hands to the floor, roll the toes under, lift the knees, press back down. We're facing three breaths here, please. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. All right, starting to feel the heat building here. Lift the right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. On your exhale, step it through to meet your hands and come into a high lunge. Come on up, let the hips sink down. Hands to the hips to start. Press out through that back heel and stack the front knee over the front ankle. Okay, let's take half archer again. Extend the left arm up towards the sky. Bend the elbow and press down on that left elbow with the right hand. Move the tailbone down, lift the chest. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, just release the hands back down to the hips. Spin the back heel to the floor and straighten the legs. Just walk the feet in about three to three and a half feet apart, depending on your height, okay? See if you can get the back heel to the floor. If it's not going, walk it in a little, little bit more, okay? And you can always put a little blanket under the back heel if it's rising up. Then this time we're going to take reverse somastiki. So taking the hands into a prayer position behind the back. Now, if that doesn't work in your body, you can just take a clasp of the hands, okay? So, once you get into this position, see if you can take the outer right hip back and the outer left hip forward. Lift the chest. On your exhale, you're gonna fold forward, but mind tight hamstrings, so micro bends in the legs. As you fold nice and slow, Take a pause when you reach halfway, and again, recalibrate the hips. Take the outer right hip back and the outer left hip forward. And then exhale, and you can fold as much or as little. Strong, engaged legs from the earth, draw right up into the center of the pelvis, perhaps folding the head in towards the front shin. Two more. Exhale, inhale, and exhale, release the hands to the floor, make your way through a vinyasa of your choice, this time lift the heart, exhale, chaturanga or knees, hips, chest, cobra for me, maybe it's an up dog for you, toes, knees, hips, downward facing, take three breaths here please. And last one. Exhale it out. Inhale. Your left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through to meet your hands. Crescent lunge, rise up. Good. Push out through that back heel. Sink down, knee stacks over ankle of the front leg. Then right arm reaches. Bend at the elbow. Take the half archer. Lift the heart. See if you can really get strong in those legs. Strong enough to open up the chest a little bit more and find a little back bend without splaying the front ribs. Knit the lower ribs inwards. Good. Lift the chest. Inhale. Exhale and release those hands to the hips. Bring the back heel to the floor, step the back foot in a little bit and straighten the legs. Okay, so Parjvatanasana again, pyramid pose. All right, so lift the heart, take the hands into reverse Samastiti behind the back, lift the heart. Exhale and fold, pause halfway, take the outer left hip back, outer right hip forward. Good. Soften the front knee and fold, fold over it. Okay, good. Maybe drawing the gaze in towards that left shin. 
Keep the legs strongly engaged. If you're wobbly, just take your hands towards the floor or onto blocks. Exhale. Two more. Last exhale, take those hands to the floor. Work your way through a vinyasana. I'll see you in a downward facing dog. Three breaths there, please. Exhale. Okay. So let's move on again. Take the right leg up towards the sky. Three-legged dog. On your exhale, step it through. Spin your back heel down to the floor. Rise up to warrior one. Okay. So tailbone down. Lift the heart. Get long in the side of the body. And then again, taking half archer. Press the right hand down onto the left elbow. If you want, you can take full archer there. Clasping both hands together, taking the chest forward towards the front of the mat. Sink down over the front um, ankle, front knee sink stacking over the ankle. One more. And then exhale, release those arms and clasp behind the back. Lift the chest, take the arm bones back. On your exhale, fold forward. Take that right arm bone on the inside of the right thigh, dropping the head down towards the floor. So you're not resting on top of the right thigh, you're inside of it. So you have to keep your legs nice and strong. Drop the top of the head down towards the floor. If you're unsteady here, go ahead and hold on to the floor. Good, so you can soften the face. Good. Keep knitting that outer right hip in towards the midline. One more here. On your exhale, start to take the hands down. On your inhale, lift the heart and rise back up. Warrior one, keep the arms as they were. All right. Then you can open it out to warrior two. Open up the back. Foot, so now you have heel to arch alignment and your hips are now facing the side of, of the mat. Good. Now, from here, let's move into a reverse warrior. Take the right arm up overhead and reach out behind you, stretching into the sides of the body here. Good. Gaze is forward underneath the right armpit, taking care not to collapse the right leg in, but instead keep the knee tracking over the second toe. Reaching out, little finger side edge of the hand down. And then exhale, let's make our way through a vinyasa of choice. I'll see you in downward facing dog. Heart lifts. Chaturanga. Back bend, downward facing. Good, nice and easy. Press the floor away. Draw into the center of the pelvis. Strong body. And exhale it out. Second side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Warrior one, spin the back heel, rise up. Good. Right arm lifts, bend the elbow, press down. Tailbone moves down, heart lifts. So now you can support your upper chest as you press back. Sink down into that front leg nice and, nice and low, so a wider stance if it's available to you. Clasp them the other way around, so the other index finger on top behind your back. 
Lift the chest, arm bones back. Exhale to fold, humble warrior. So keep those legs nice and strong. Drop the top of the head down. Knit the outer left thigh in towards the midline. And drop that left arm on the inside of that left thigh. One more here. Exhale, start to drop those hands. Inhale, lift the chest, press down into the earth and rise up. Okay, open up the back foot to warrior two legs. Good, nice and strong. And then take it straight into reverse. So bring your left arm up and overhead, reach it out behind you, turn the gaze up towards the front. Stretch it out, big breath in, sink down into that front knee again. Last one. And then exhale, just cartwheel the hands down, make your way through your vinyasa of choice. See you in downward facing. And back, three breaths here please. Last one. Exhale. All right, inhale. Bend the knees and you're just going to come forward into a seat. Good, coming down. Grab your folded blanket, your meditation cushion, whatever you're using underneath your bum. And for this one, we're going to take Gomukhasana or cow face pose. Now there's um, an option here to take easy cross-legged pose if Gomukhasana is uh, a little bit out of reach. So stacking, so easy cross-legged if Gomukhasana is too tight. So for Gomukhasana, you're going to stack one knee on top of the other. So right knee on top of left or thereabouts. So that's going to look differently for different people. So if you have a blanket handy and your leg is riding up here, sort of hanging out, pop a support underneath there to help you feel uh, lifted upright. Okay, now the soles of the feet are pointing towards the back of the room. Okay, now this is where the, the strap or belt comes in handy. So you're simply going to uh, take the left arm up towards the sky. <laughs> On your exhale, bend the elbow and you can press down there. Okay, option is to either take full archer pose Okay, or you can take a belt, pop it into the clasp between your thumb and your index finger, and reach back with your with your right arm. Okay, holding here, lift the heart, and as you exhale, folding forward. Okay, a little bit or in a lot, whatever feels right. And if folding forward is not going to happen for you, that's absolutely fine too. Two more breaths here. Exhale about. Inhale, rising back up again. Okay, good. Just releasing that belt or your hands. And then gently releasing the legs. Just give the outer thighs a gentle rub or a tap with the heels of your hands. And then we'll take it to the second side. So left leg on top. And with cow face pose, the further um, uh, your shins are parallel with your, the front of your mat or the side of my mat in this case, um, the harder the pose. You'll know that. Okay, if you're in easy cross-legged position, just change it over and pop something underneath 
your sit bones there so that you feel supported. Okay, this time, this time we're going to take the uh, right arm up towards the sky, bend the elbow, press down gently, and either move it into full archer pose, okay, or into half, or use your belt, okay, grab and hold, lift the heart, and when you're ready, exhale and fold as much or as little as works for your body. So keep moving that left arm bone back. So using ujjayi breath, supporting yourself from the inside out. Taking two more breaths here. Exhale. Inhale. Rising back up again. Okay, good. Now, for this one, Janus Shasana with wide legs. So just taking the right leg, bending it so the sole of the foot's working its way in towards the inner left thigh. Make sure you've got something to, comfortable to support your uh, sit bones. All right. And then we're simply going to take the, uh, actually, we're going to take the right arm and bend it so the back of the hand is facing away from you. So you've got the back of the hand facing away. Then turn to gaze over the bent leg, over the right knee. So spin the midline of your body to face over the right knee. Once you have that, keep that there. You've got your right hand can either stay on your back and maybe grab your left thigh. Maybe, maybe not. And simply work your way down the left leg with the left hand. Keep the gaze upwards. Good, so you'll feel that in the QL there. So lift the gaze up, spinning the chest towards the right. If this isn't happening, or it's tricky, that's totally fine. You can lasso that left leg. Uh, bring it closer to you. All right. Take two more here. And then exhale and release. Let's switch it over to the second side. I'll start with the modification first, so bending the left leg in. Extending the right leg out. All right. So then this time I'm going to take the belt to the right foot, making the foot a little bit closer, bring it closer in. Spin the chest over the left knee. Take the back of the left hand away. Maybe bringing, getting into a little a hold there on the right thigh. Then exhale and start to reach over towards that right foot. Okay, all the while bringing that left arm bone back. All right, good. Big breath into the chest. Spin the heart up towards the sky. Two more here. And last one. Exhale and release nice and slow. Okay. So let's pop the belt over to the side and come and rest on our backs with our knees bent. Good. Feet hip distance apart. When you're ready, take an inhale and lift your seat up off the floor, coming into a bridge pose. Clasp your hands underneath your back and it should feel quite easy to take the arm bones underneath so that you sit on top of your shoulders, okay? Now, keep energetically drawing those thighs in towards each other, pressing down into your heels, 
Move the tailbone down towards the heels also. Chin in towards the chest, feel Ujjayi breath starting. Let your gaze be soft. Two more. Exhale, release it gently back down towards the floor. Hold it here for a couple of rounds of breath. And maybe knock your knees in towards each other, taking your feet towards the rails of the mat. Okay, just opening up your knees again. Walk your feet into hip distance apart. Lift your feet off the floor, taking your hands onto your kneecaps, just hug it in. Gently rocking forward and back, keeping your upper body on the floor. Now, we're just gonna take a little uh, spinal twist, taking your arms to goal post. Let the two knees fall to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale, knees up to center. Exhale, over to the left this time, gaze to the right. Inhale, knees up to center. Exhale, set up for Shavasana. Whatever Shavasana you prefer, with the support or without. And feel free to take as long as you like in Shavasana. We're just going to be here briefly. The palms of the hands facing up towards the sky. Toes and knees pointing, toes pointing out. Heels in. Gather the shoulder blades onto the back. So the neck is nice and long. Eyes soft or closed. Just allow your bones to be heavy and your skin soften. Feel the soft tissues beneath slacken. And take a few moments of rest. So stay here if you would like to, otherwise, getting ready to come up, bending those knees, rubbing thumbs and index fingers together, just gently let those legs fall to the right side as you come and lie on your right side, slowly does it. And then very slowly come up to a comfortable seat.
Gather your hands together at the heart space. Release your breath with a long breath through, exhale through an open mouth. Let the shoulders relax. Good, and then lifting your gaze. I'll say namaste to you. Thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you very soon.